All right, guys, today is the day that we've all been waiting for. This is Iron Man VR, the demo. Um, I've been excited to get my hands on this game ever since it was announced. Of course, just like all the rest of you guys were easily anticipating this game's release. It's been delayed a couple of times, and we're finally getting really, really close, guys. This game comes out in July, and today I'm bringing you guys the full demo of the game. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look to see exactly what this game is like and see what we could expect for the full game. Let's go ahead and get into it. Game in tech, eating brekkie is the game in tech, going for a brekkie is the game in tech, game in techie is the game in tech, game in techie. Alright guys, here we are with Iron Man VR. I think this is the game everyone's been waiting for on PlayStation VR. I know I had to dig my PlayStation VR out just to get this demo out because I knew I couldn't wait because this is the game that we've all been talking about and we've all been waiting for to come out. Uh, this is the demo, of course, this game comes out um, later on in a few weeks. And uh, we're going to check out the demo here and see exactly what the gameplay is like and see how this is. So, let's dive right in. Alright guys, here we go. Oh boy. Oh, look at my hands. I'm in my Iron Man suit already. Okay. Mark three test points. Oh boy. Starting with maneuvering thrusters. Hands by my sides. Palms back. <laughs> good. Feels good. All right. Time to open her up. Here we go. We're flying in. Legit, I feel like I'm flying over the ocean right now. Nice intro. Now how the hell do I get down there? All right, so if I have to fly forward and then let go, I guess. Close enough. Opening targeting suite. Impulsors ready. Hands up. Palms forward. Okay. Bullseye. Nice. Be aware that your hands up cable if you turn completely around. Cool. You may have a problem, Tony. Pepper, I have a lot of problems. I'm serious. You in this armor. Do I need to stage an intervention? Only if I start wearing it to bed. Seek and destroy targets. Okay. Let's go. That way. There's one. There's one right there. Five forward. Three more targets to go. Okay. I'm I'm starting to get the hang of this flying. Two more targets left. Feels good too once you get used to it. My aiming could use some work. One then. more. Look at this. That's how it's done. What's Good next? Shit. Time trial. Mind if I watch? Okay. You know I work better with an I'm gonna probably fail this. Yeah. 
This is probably going to be me failing. I want to get some good leeway. Let's start with boost. Got it. Okay. I think if I swap the DC motor for a solar power converter and apply quarter inch magnetic articulation seals to the boot thrusters, it can reduce my drag coefficient by 10, maybe 10.5 percent. Okay. Should I be writing this down? No need. I've got a mind like a steel trap. Oh, yeah? When's my birthday? Uh, sorry, Pepper, you're cutting out. Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. No, that one's within the normal range. For me, anyway. Should I went too high? The jets. Busted my ass. Hold the melee button. Miss Rockets engaged. Time to throw a punch. Knock it. Nice. <laughs> Just like Happy Hogan talking. I went too high again. Time to punch out. Hey. Well done, Tony. Not a great Did score, but that's needed? fine. Or are you gonna go again? I'm good. Maybe later, after I noodle on it some more. Sounds great. Meet me back here when you're ready. Let's go. I went on top of the building instead of down below. Yep. There Ego we go. has landed. We're home, people. Look at this suit, though. Sitting on my plane. And shit's Spinach. about to go. Shit's not about to go down well. Open the suitcase. Hey, there it is. Sir, may I get you something? Friday. Have you seen Pepper? 
I believe she's putting out a fire. Literal or figurative? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. During a press conference, Mr. Stark admitted he had not informed Ms. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's gonna thank me. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? I should... I'm gonna... Pepper, I'm not always right. I mean, I'm usually right. Tony! But here's the thing. I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk. And you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was gonna ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them. That's not the point. The company turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world. And I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? No. <laughs> oh! Friday, who taught you how to fly? Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Someone has taken us over. Remotely. Out there! It's a Stark drone! A combat drone? We don't make combat drones anymore. The drone is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. Goddamn Tony Stark Hello, with his inventions. Stark. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. Tony, look! Incoming! Time to die. Holy shit. Tony. to go. Feels nice with the motion controls. With the vibration, it really feels like you're becoming Iron Man right now. Oh, this feels great. They did a solid job with this. where's my head at? In the clouds as usual, sir. The ground's getting awfully close. Heads up. There it is. They did a really, really cool job on how that those pieces came on top of you. Especially with the motion, like, you know, the vibration of the controls and stuff as soon as they, like, hit your hand and how they landed. Really make you feel like you were getting the pieces on Iron Man into your hand. That was really cool. Systems online. Just in time. Looks so good. To catch. You can't outrun your past, Star. We'll see about that. Pepper, Let's kick this into gear. A little windy, but yeah, I hear you. Let's get to this plane. We have a massive breach in the hull. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. Uh, 
There's an engine fire that needs your attention. <laughs> A secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. There we go. Coming in hot. Oh, it really wants me, like, right underneath it. Okay. I didn't even realize that that was there. So let's get above this and drop. Here we go. Drop a little bit. There we go. Fire suppression system we go. online. One less burning issue to deal with. Good job, sir. So the autopilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into a populated area. I'll deal with the autopilot. That's great. Uh, no, stay put. It's too dangerous. Says the guy who jumped out of the plane. Any more from our mystery guest? They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. Show them in. Am I supposed to punch those out of the way? Probably. Yep. Your suit has sustained significant damage. Proceed with caution. Critical. Getting our asses kicked. Help! 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 Out of the jet's diagnostics. I have no read on Miss Potts. Pepper, do you copy? Enemies inbound. Pepper! Pepper, come in! Pepper! You okay in there? Keep the good news coming. Sir, more hostiles en route. Friday, what did I just say? Beat your ass. Pepper, how's the jet? No longer on a collision.
in course with Los Angeles. The city council will be pleased to know that. Uh, guys! I can't steer! Sir, the aileron on the left side has been damaged. Is that fixable? I'll have to wing it. There we go. Sure. I've located an airstrip for emergency landing. Thanks, Friday. Pepper, you think you can land this bird? Only one way to find out. Lowering the landing gear. <laughs> the landing gear doors are malfunctioning. Son of, of a course bitch. They are. Coming in. Where am I? There we go. Make a wish. There you go. It's all yours, Pepper. Gears down. Three green. Well done, both of you. If no one has any further objections, I say we call it. I'm detecting a new energy signature. More enemies? Good. Trigger fingers getting itchy. Sidestep their attack, sir. That's not good. All threats neutralized. I'll take I'm it. Sensing our hacker friend has returned. <laughs> Friday? Friday? All systems are down. The big one's back. My controls are locked. from radar. I can see that. Get me back online. Systems restored. Tony, nothing's responding here. Sir, I believe the jet is officially a lost cause. Pepper, find an exit. Right. Come on, people, keep this into Gaia gear. Look. Almost there. I think I just missed where I was supposed to go. Pepper, oh, there she is. Tony. <laughs> Got her. Welcome to your connecting this flight. shit. Look at this. Rescuing someone from a plane. Why am I not surprised? Next time, 
I want my own suit. Suit up, 7-3-2020. All right. I'm hyped. Guys, that was awesome. That was awesome. Um, I got a lot to say about that demo, but we don't need to do that with me with a VR headset on my head. So let's go ahead and uh, put this down. Let's get to the table and let me talk about what we just played here. All right, guys. So that was Iron Man VR, the demo. So everyone's obviously been talking about this game ever since it was announced. It was delayed a couple of times and we're finally at the cup of when it's finally going to release. As you guys saw at the end of that gameplay coming in... Um, july so i think we're all excited for that date and after i just play that demo i'm even more excited than before um there was a lot of variety in just that 15 minute span of what you were actually doing you know you started off you know doing time trials and stuff to, you know around um around, around tony spark industries you're flying around there and you're doing the um you know the practice basically but it makes you feel like you're doing like a time race and stuff flying in the air as iron man so that was a good way to set it off and get you accustomed to it and on top of the fact you're flying over um you know, the industries, which is really cool. Um, and after that, obviously it took you on and you went on a plane. You got a little bit of, you know, story elements with the dialogue with the character and the character models look really, really good. Uh, the graphics were really impressive in there on, a play, on the PlayStation VR. And then of course everything goes to hell and then you jump out of a plane. I wish you actually jumped off and it didn't like fade to white, but um, they obviously probably did that for comfort. But um, so you jumped off the plane and then you were in there and the combat feels really good. The, the using your hands to uh, fire when you're facing forward, like with your hands up, really easy to get used to that. Um, and then putting your hands backwards to be able to fly. Uh, it definitely takes some getting used to, uh, probably a little bit longer than the time that I did in the demo. I got used to it for the most part, but there's some times that I forgot and be like, oh crap, my hands are like in the air. I want to go forward. I have to put them backwards. Um, but Either way, it worked really well. The punching is the one thing that I got to remember what button it is. Because obviously in VR, I can't see the button. So I, I kept feeling for the second one above instead of the bottom one to do the punching. But all of it felt great when you were doing it. All of it was really intuitive. The controls feel like as good as you can think an Iron Man game in VR could feel like. I think the, the controls are good. Like I said, they're going to take a few minutes to get used to when you get in there. But once you get in there and you really master these, and I haven't mastered them, but once we master this in the full game and stuff, I think it's going to be a hell of a good time to just zip in and out, you know, as Tony Stark and, and Iron Man. And it's going to be an amazing experience. And I can't wait to see, you know, where the story goes, what's going on, and, of course, uh, just see uh, the game plan, where how they take this forward and, and, you know, what they develop inside the game. But what I played today really made me really, really excited for what I... I had no idea what to expect with the demo. Uh, I just knew I had to play it, of course, uh, as one of my most anticipated games in VR in a while. And I can't wait to get my hands on this when it first comes out. It's going to be an instant buy for me. And uh, I think the demo speaks for itself. Uh, it's re a really, really solid demo. I think anybody who plays that demo, for the most part, is going to be like, cool. Or when's the game coming out, I want the rest. So, um, yeah. So, guys, check out Iron Man uh, when it comes out on PlayStation VR. It made me bring out my PSVR. I haven't taken that thing out in a while because I'm always playing the Index and stuff. It made me take that thing out and, and do this review for you guys. And, of course, I'll definitely be bringing you guys a review of this game when it, when it obviously comes out. So definitely look forward to that. Um, that's it, guys. If you guys have any questions on anything you guys saw here today, as always, leave it down below. If not, thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech. Gaming techie. Gaming tech. Eating brekkie is the gaming tech. Going for a brekkie is the gaming tech. Gaming tech is the gaming tech.